Hey, hello everybody and welcome to the first of these uh, webinars that we will be producing here at Sencha. Uh, I am Andres Villalba, I am a sales engineer here at Sencha and today I will be talking about Sencha Themer, uh, how it works, what we can do with it and um, how it, it integrates with uh, the Sencha XJS environment. So I wanted to welcome you all and also um, I wanted to tell you that Sencha Themer is included with our uh, professional and enterprise editions and you can also download the trial from our Sencha website which I will be showing in, in a few minutes. Today's presentation will be hands-on meaning I only have one slide here to show you and then I will move on to show you how it works, where you can get it and things like that. So uh, let's start. So basically Sencha Themer, it's a tool that empowers you to style XGA apps without uh, any code. Uh, the interface is quite simple and I'll be showing it to you in a couple of minutes. First of all, I just want to show you what uh, styling means, what themes mean in, uh, in Sencha. So what I'm showing you here, it's uh, our kitchen sink, is where you can see all our tools or all our components. And let me just uh, open a basic form. And as you can see here, it's uh, right now, this is a basic form with our basic style, but uh, XJS has a bunch of styles created for you. Of course, we will be creating our own in a couple of minutes, but I just wanted to show you that even if you don't create your own, you have a few others already created for you. So right now, I, I move to the material theme. And as you can see, the form looks a lot different, even if it's the same uh, components. Let's just go to Neptune. And we have some that look uh, more uh, contemporary and some that look uh, kind of old, but as you can see, we have different options. So how does it work? How, how do, do we work with it? Well, if I am creating an application myself, I can grab any of those themes in a simple way. Let me just uh, show you. For example, I have this application here. I am, I am using something that it, it's called the Triton theme. And as you can see here, it's just a basic blue and it's got a form and it's got a grid, this example over here. And this is how it looks. But if I want to use a different theme without themer, I can just go into my code, change my config file, and inside of it, just say that I want to use a different uh, style. Uh, give me a second. I opened the wrong file. Give me a sec. I'll have it around here. Here. As you can see here, this is using the theme Triton. I can just change it to material and ask um, uh, XGS sent a command to refresh my app. And if I have the correct one open in a few seconds, we will be looking at the new app. It's loading the, this file, it's creating the style. And it's going, it's going. Um, give me a sec, because I have several several ones open. Sorry, I have several examples open. I don't know which one I changed. Uh, so um, I'll show it to you in, in a second. Anyways, uh, I can still do it this way. Um, I'll just leave the other. Uh, 
line compiling. Anyways, uh, I'll be working with Sencha Thimer. I'll show it to you in a second once that is done. This is how Sencha Thimer looks. Uh, I'll be creating a new example in a couple of minutes. Well, not a couple, in a few minutes. And uh, this is how it looks. As you can see here, it's got a simple interface. We are looking at, at an example that has a phone um, design. However, the Themer is running in both our classic and modern toolkits. That What are these two? Classic is our toolkit where we create applications for desktop, and modern is our toolkit where we create applications for modern browsers. Uh, basically, it has more to do with, um, with mobile phones and tablets, but we can still use classic on mobile and we can still use modern on desktop. It's just they are optimized for, for each. Anyways, coming back to this, as you can see, this is our uh, interface. We have our components on the left, we have a work area at the center, and we have properties on the right. Uh, this is the first screen. So what I'm looking here at here are the theme defaults. Have a base color, a background color, a line height, some font, uh, gradient, confirm color, alert color, and I can change this for the phone or the desktop. Once again, this is because I am using an universal universal app that uses both. Uh, let me see if the other example finished by now. Uh, give me a second. Anyways, as you can see, this is the desktop example, and this is the phone one. Now, if I go in and change uh, something here, let's say the best base color instead of blue, I wanted a different color. I'm just gonna say some some orange. As you can see, it changed my basic colors over here. I can also go in and change, let's say, the background and color. And just for fun, I'm just gonna change uh, the confirm color to to a blue shade. I'm gonna change the decline button to a different shade of a uh, red. Let's say something around here. And I can keep on changing uh, options around here, as you can see, it's changing my basic uh, design. Or I can go into buttons and start changing the basic buttons. So once again, I can do it for both phone and desktop. What I'm, what you're seeing me change right now is the phone uh, design. But I'm just gonna change some random options. Right now, as you can see, I can change a bunch of uh, different options. And I am not using any code at all. Of course, if I have an idea of CSS, this will make a lot more sense. But uh, there isn't much to to do over. I mean, eh, eh, much to know about code over here. And we have quite a lot of options. I can change the button, the button icon options. So I can say the icon is a different color. Uh, I can change the font size for the icon. And uh, I can change the options for from when it's hovered, focused, and so on. And I can keep on going, and I can change the options for the image carousel. I can change options for for fields and the actual form. Um, I can also change options for our grid. So let me just go to desktop so that it shows a little bit more. As you can see here, I have also a bunch of options. I can change the uh, the configuration for grid row, let's say, just to make it visible. I can change the color for for the alt background and for the background color. Right now it's hard to see, but I'm changing both. Uh, I can change the border color, border style, and so on and so forth. So you can see there are a lot of options that we can change. And there's lists, links, uh, panels, the menu, progress bar, tab panel, tree, toolbar, as you can see, a lot. 
And uh, like I said, I'm just gonna go back to team defaults. What I changed was the phone design, meaning the modern. I can go to, to desktop and also change it over here. And uh, I have some different colors. As you can uh, see, you have a lot of options. We can do it visually, or I can change the property panels to a SAS view. And I can go in, if I know the ex exact variable uh, name, I can go in and change the value too. And one cool part about this is that this works on real time. I'm gonna show it in, in a couple of uh, minutes too. I just want to actually create a theme for the example I was showing you. So let me go back. Uh, let me see if I have the correct one open. Yeah, this is it. Let me just uh, undo. I'll have it like that. And now what I'm going to do, it's I am going to uh, create a new theme for this example. So what do I do? I'm just gonna go to File, New Theme. And I'm gonna look for that example. I have a bunch of different applications over here. So to not make a mistake, I'm just gonna look at my application uh, URL. I'm using code over here. And um, as you can see, this is saved on this uh, folder over here. So that's the uh, folder I'm gonna choose, which is, uh, actually I didn't want that one, my mistake, I want this one. I said, no, it's the other one. Let me close this one just not to make a mistake. Okay, my simple app, Themer, this one. So I'm just gonna select the folder. I'm gonna give a name to my, uh, to my theme. This is really important. It has to have the latest um, version of XGS that matches this Sencha Themer. And also I must be careful not to include any special characters here. I can use a dash and underscore, but I cannot use any other special characters for the name. So that you look at it. And one thing that it's important is the same uh, rule applies for the uh, actual uh, URL where your project is saved. So be careful with that. I'm just gonna call it my webinar. Theme. I am using the Sencha SDK 7.7. .7. If I am using this, I need the latest Sencha command, like I was saying. And then this application was created only for classic toolkit, so I have to select classic. If I create an application modern, it's going to show modern. If, if I have an universal app, it's going to show both. So right now I select classic and I have to select a starting theme. I'm gonna select Triton, but it could be any of those. We were looking at those at the kitchen sink. So now I'm just gonna hit create theme. It's gonna take a few seconds and it's gonna create a theme for this project. Let's give it a, a few seconds, uh, sorry. It's loading, let's give it a few seconds until it's done. It's creating a bunch of files. If we actually go into code, we can see that it's creating a packages local my webinar theme inside of it. And it's creating everything required there to, to create my theme. It also went in and into my app JSON file and changed the theme here. It's a good idea when we're working with a themer to reveal the app, but instead of every time, oh, sorry, every time revealing the app by typing Sencha um, refresh or Sencha app build, what I'm gonna do is just say Sencha app watch. 
And this is gonna look for any changes that I do inside uh, Themer, and it's going to rebuild my app accordingly. So I'm just gonna wait for it until it tells me that it's uh, ready. Oh, sorry, uh, I changed something. Um, if not, I'll just do a build. It's, it has something to do with uh, what I changed at the last minute. Um, let's go to Themer. Let me show it to you. So as you can see, since this is a classic app, uh, it only has base color, body background, line height. It has a different uh, starting point. So I'm, I can change the color here too. It's changing there. Let's see there. Let's just leave it like that for a couple of uh, minutes. And I'm just gonna rebuild the app by hand. Once again, I'm doing something there. Oh, my mistake, I know what happened. Uh, my simple app. I del deleted the whole line, that's why it failed. Uh, let's see, French app watch. Once it's done, I will be able to test my, uh, my application in two different places. Since I have a domain set up, I could take a look at the actual domain, or I can just take a look at, at it at the local host. Uh, let me see. I can actually do it from here. Publish, apply theme, uh, where is it? View, I'll just do it from here. There's something uh, weird happening over here. Give me a second. It's uh, misbehaving a little for for me. Uh, probably running the the wrong example. I apologize. Uh, this doesn't usually happen to me. I'll get it in, in a couple of minutes. Sorry. Uh, while it's uh, working, let me just show you. I'm just gonna change uh, something else. Let's say that I want to change a form field. Um, where's text field? and say that I want the background white and the actual empty text color a little bit darker. And once I type something, I want it um, to minimize. I want a different color. Fun, fun, fun. I'll just leave it like that for, for now. Once I type, it's gonna change a little bit as you can see. Let's see. Let me minimize. Uh, I feel that. And that one's fine. Um, my mistake over here. I was missing that one. Anyways, uh, let's see. Let me double check. There it is. I was uh, opening the wrong window. So since I changed the whole uh, design, as you can see, it now looks like this. It isn't very attractive. Why? Because I just changed a bunch of stuff uh, at random. But let me go in, just go to theme defaults. Instead of orange, I'm just gonna turn it back to a different shade of uh, blue. It has changed here. Uh, let's say something a little bit more pleasing to the eye. If I want an exact color, I can do it. I can just go in and change uh, the value with the picker or enter an X value. And just by doing that, if I refresh my, my application, it's going to load those new colors. So I can check almost in real time. So I don't want a completely a dark. Let's uh, change it like that. And as you can see, it changed. It is now easier to, to read. Uh, what else can I change? There's a lot of things. And not only that, this right now, as you can see, it's changing my whole app 
So if I go in and change, uh, let's say, once again, a text box. Let's uh, change it. Let's go to form fields and go to text field. And over here, just for the fun of it, I'll change uh, the border color to, to blue. I'll give it a border radius of four. And I take a look at it. All the fields changed. They are now blue. They are now uh, rounded in their, on their corners. But what happens if I didn't want that? I only wanted the first and the last name to do so. I can do that. So I'm just uh, gonna click the X, uh, X button after the value to return everything to, to normal. And what I do, it's I create a custom uh, UI. All I do is click on the plus button on UIs and I want to change a text field. So it, here it is text field, I'll give it a name. I'm just gonna say my field, create UI. It's doing it for me. Once it shows here, I can give it any style I want. Want So once again, I'm just gonna say the border is blue. I'm just gonna change one uh, border. Oh, my mistake, I typed type that wrong. Uh, let's say uh, for some reason, it's a different uh, font. So, this will not change everything inside my form. So you can see everything is back, it's not changing, but I want to apply that style to my first and my last name. So I can create a UI, I can go into my code, I will open that form, which is here. And all I have to do is give it the name of the UI. So here's my first name and my last name. I'm just gonna say UI. And the name I created is, uh, sorry, I forgot. Uh, where is it, where is it? It's my dash field. So UI, my, oh, my dash field. And as you can see, it's running down there. It's compiling again. We don't need to compile applications every time we do a simple change in code. Uh, but since I'm running Sencha Watch to actually go and check on my theme, that's why it's uh, it's running. And um, let's see. I think once again, I opened the wrong one. Uh, give me a second. And here it is. So since I applied UI, it changed over here. And let's say I don't want it that, that color, I want a different color, let's say uh, an orange. Okay, I'll just refresh. And now it is an orange color. So this is just a basic idea of how Themer works. Uh, this is not supposed to be a full tutorial. I just wanted to show you a few things that you have here. And the great thing is that you don't need code. All the code I, uh, I did is uh, I just went in and I added uh, the UI for my specific um, field. And this works with columns, with grids, with windows, with anything you, you want if you want to create your own theme. Um, but the basic idea is to show you what you can do. You can do this with applications created with Sencha command, with applications uh, created with Sencha architect. So it's, it is a great tool to, to speed up your uh, designing process. Right now, I don't have anything uh, to, to detail to show you how great of an application you can create, but you can customize 
99% of your application here. Uh, the other 1% you might have to go into your CSS, but it's uh, from all the projects I have worked on, I have only had to do it once. So um, this is it. This is Sencha Themer. I hope you liked it. If you want to learn more, I invite you to contact either myself or one of our uh, sales uh, people and set up a, a call and see if uh, if you want to to learn a little bit more. Uh, I invite you. I, I have we have a few minutes um, uh, left, so I invite you to to write any questions if you have uh, here in the question panel. Uh, I can see right now, can you change the application purpose or what is the purpose of the app? Uh, you, uh, this is asked by Tammy. Uh, hello, Tammy. Uh, do you mean the Sencha Themer application or the application that I was just showing you, the, the one that I had pre-created? Um, because yeah, you can, I mean, change the purpose of the application. This is the one I have prepared. Change the purpose. Uh, for our application, it means a, a lot more, a lot of design process to change it. And if you mean Sencha Themer, it's uh, basically it's just for theming your, your apps. Um, we have a different question. An idea on how to implement a function allowing the user to, to switch dynamically from one, for example, for from tri Triton to Crisp. Uh, right now, I don't have the time I can uh, ask you to send me an email. My email is here, so, sorry. Uh, uh, I don't know if I'm pronouncing, pronouncing your name correctly. Sorry, Michael. Uh, if you want, send me an email. I'll guide you a little bit through it. I'll, I'll point you in the right direction. Uh, what he's asking is if we can have a button to switch between themes. It is doable. Uh, it's not that complex, but it we only have three minutes left, so I cannot go through it. Uh, it's basically what he wants to do is the same thing that I was showing you in the kitchen sink, switch between one and the other. Um, uh, I didn't show you how to package themes. I'm getting a, a different question. Uh, right now, all I can tell you, it's uh, under publish, we can export theme package. We can export CSS. We can apply the theme to a different app. What I can tell you, Eric, since you're asking this question, is in two weeks from now, we will ha we have be having an architect example. I can make sure to include this into that uh, webinar. So I will be answering that question on that webinar. Sorry if I don't have the time right now to, to go into more detail. Uh, to start the Sencha Themer, uh, you can go down, you can download it if you have your uh, active license. You have a professional uh, license or enterprise license. This is being asked by, by Mohammed. Uh, if you want to download the trial, just go to our Sencha website, go to Sencha Themer, and you can start a free trial. It's one month. And once you download it, just to load your application, it's quite simple. You just uh, click on new, and you just select your application from here. Uh, this webinar is going to be available for everyone uh, later today or tomorrow. So if you miss this part, uh, Mohammed, I invite you to to look for it in, later today or tomorrow. Uh, what else? Uh, Joey, if my company has the enterprise level central licensing, do I have access to the to this? Yes, yes, you you do. You need to go into your support portal. Inside of it, you will have a, a link to download Sencha Themer. So you have either the professional or the enterprise version of uh, Sencha. You do have access to Sencha Themer. Uh, my email again, my email, I'll put it up here. And we have uh, a couple of minutes left and that's it. My email is this one, andres.vilalva at sencha.com. Um, if you guys contact me over here, I can uh, point you in the right direction, answer a few questions. 
but any technical things that are uh, that are related to course or uh, something more advanced, it, it's out of the purpose of my uh, email account. Hopefully, I can help you. And um, what else? Uh, sorry, uh, I think I'm uh, out of uh, time. Uh, Tammy, uh, if you want to send me your questions and uh, Lavent, same thing. Um, sorry, uh, this is just a short 30-minute uh, webinar. So please contact me if you have any questions. Uh, next week, week we have another uh, webinar by Marcus Mano. Uh, the week after that, I'll be back. Uh, we have a few different webinars prepared. One is on our uh, IDE plugins. And uh, Mark will be explaining all about that. He's quite an expert. Uh, he'll be seeing you everybody next week. And two weeks from now, I'll be talking about uh, Sancha Architect. And I will make sure to include uh, Sancha Themer in it so that you guys uh, learn a little, bit, a little bit more. Once again, thank you. Um, and I'll be seeing you in the next weeks. Thank you. Have a great day.